Today, I'm gonna stay overnight underground. So I've stayed the night in some pretty weird places, like a locker, or a secret room, even a dangerous one like a tree house. And today it'll be underground. You may be wondering how, let me explain. You see, I dug an underground secret lair, but I lost it. So I must go find it. Let's find this secret lair. It's somewhere over here. Well, I found it. I found the underground secret lair. And that fall probably looked really fake, if I'm being honest. It wasn't a real fall, it was for the video. And we have a serious problem down here. Come take a look. As you can see, there's a ton of water down here, which is not very good because I gotta sleep down here tonight. I guess when I was digging this, I didn't take into account that I live in Florida and it's gonna fill up with water. Either I solved this problem or I'm sleeping in water. So that's fun. So I need to solve that problem, all the water. Guys, this just in, I forgot my phone in my other pocket and I can't find it, so it must be in here. So the whole time I was sitting in the water, my phone was in my pocket. I'm so dumb for forgetting it there. Anyway, I searched everywhere through the water to see if I could find it and I didn't find it anywhere. So I checked the Find My app so I can find out exactly where it was at. And according to the map, it was right out in the hole and I still couldn't find it. All right, here's the update. I can't find my phone. It's down there somewhere. So at this point I was considering giving up the video, so I was walking on the roof to see if it would collapse, and nothing happened. Are you kidding me? I ended up tearing up one side of the roof to get water out because whether I like it or not, I still have to sleep in there tonight. Well guys, after a lot of looking and we got a bunch of the water out of the hole, we finally found it. As you can see, it's right here. It's so weird because it still works after being underwater for like 30 minutes. So I gotta make this suitable to sleep in by nighttime or else I'm sleeping in all this mud and water. So first I'm gonna get rid of all the mud and water. After getting rid of all the mud, this is what it looked like. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start working on a floor in here so I'm not just laying down on all this dirt tonight. So let's continue. That's the first step of my floor system that I'm building. All right, so this is the floor. I'm probably gonna clean underneath them a little more. I'm gonna get a, a little bit more of the dirt out. So if it does fill back up with water, it'll be less likely to come up to where I'm at. All right, I think the camera will be picking up a good amount of action. Well, looks like I'm about to test it out. It's a pretty good start. I can't tell if this is my humble abode or my grave. All right, so if I move this out of the way, you can see that it's starting to fill back up with water, which is an issue, but I might make right there deeper. As you can see, there's no water in it right now. I'm pretty sure once that gets high enough, it'll drain to right here, but I might make it deeper to hold more water. So I put some extra boards in there to make it more like an actual floor. And I only used boards that I found lying around. So this is about as good as it's gonna get. All right, so now that's ready to sleep in, let's get it ready to sleep in comfortably. So I'm losing daylight and the hole is pretty much ready for me to sleep in. Um, As you can see, the water is starting to come up, but I don't think that it's gonna rise all the way up tonight. I'm pretty sure I'll stay dry all night, but I'm not certain I will. I also want to find something that I could like cover the hole with while I'm trying to sleep tonight because I don't know if I want to stay open the whole night. So I'll come back later when it's bedtime. So I'm about to get ready to go to bed inside of here. So I'll go, I'll get it prepared and show you what we got set up. First, I'm going to put some cardboard in the bottom of the hole so it's like a nice floor. And then I'm going to put something really epic on top of the cardboard. All right, so we got the cardboard in. And the thing that's going on top of the cardboard was literally the best idea I've ever had. As you can see, we have a game, 
a, a gaming chair to put in there and sleep on. So let's put that in. And put it in that way. All right, so the gaming chair is in. It didn't fit in as nice as I would have liked it to. And that leans back, so it's gonna be better. It's turned a little sideways, but that'll be fine. So I'm gonna get a little more ready and then go to bed. Well, I got my pillow and blanket. I'm gonna go get the lid to put on top of the hole. Then I'm gonna go to bed. All right, so I got a piece of tin to go over the hole. So now I'm gonna get in and try to get comfortable. As soon as I was about to go to bed, I heard something pretty loud out in the woods and I decided to walk towards it and find out what it was. Every horror movie ever tells me not to ever do that, but I did it anyway. And this is what I saw. Hey, Mr. Armadillo, subscribe. Well, now I don't have to be scared about what's in the woods. It's just an armadillo. So, time to go to bed. Well, I'm inside the hole. It's not as spacious as I'd like it to be because of this, um, this giant gaming chair is taking up a lot of space. Water levels look fine. I feel like I'm in the Titanic, though, where, like, the water is, like, rising. And I just, like, have to go, like, go to sleep in here. So this is what the other side looks like. My foot is on a pillow that is inside of a bag so it doesn't get too dirty. And the tin. The tin's the only thing separating me from armadillos, so sounds pretty good. Here's some boards that are above my face. I've already come to terms with the fact that I'm gonna get kind of dirty down here, um, but I'm pretty comfortable actually. It's not too cold. It might drop down colder later. Also, the water might rise. Um, I'm gonna set up the time lapse and maybe try to go to sleep already. So the time lapse is to help prove that this video isn't fake because a lot of YouTubers fake overnight videos. Anyway, I was having a tough time falling asleep, especially because of the flashlight was shining in my face. And I had to keep the flashlight on for the time lapse, but eventually I put it into the roof and that hit the spot and I fell asleep. Good morning, sleepyheads. Um, so last night, like five o'clock, I woke up and I was, for a second, I was like confused as where I was at. I was like, where the heck am I? Then I remembered, um, and then I left, but it was like five. So technically I did stay overnight. So as you can see, the water got very close to floating all the way up to me last night. So we didn't get wet at all. Anyway, I'm gonna go make some coffee. Well, that was tough. I do not recommend staying underground. Um, unless, if you have a better place to sleep, then I wouldn't recommend sleeping underground. 